What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media and welcome back for some more Battle Maison Super Singles. Today we're going to be taking on battles number 16 through 20 and we will be changing back to team number 2 and I also should change the music. I'm going to keep changing the music every time because I want to listen to different things. It gets kind of stale if you just listen to the same track over and over and over again. Especially because they don't even have the best tracks. Like all the best tracks are not music 1 through 4 like in the uh, the late teens and early 20s on the track numbers. But anyway, we're going to choose team number two here. So we have our Tornadus T leading things off, and then we got Raikou in the back, which forms a nice little Volt Turn core if necessary, and then we have Mega Metagross, which is just overpowered as anything. So uh, without any further ado, let's go. You want to battle with moi? Did he just say he's going to hit me with a frying pan? I pressed A way too fast there. Okay, so anyway, he's going to start off with a Superior. Hopefully this isn't contrary Leaf Storm shenanigans, um, but I should outspeed this anyway, so I should be able to just hit it with an Air Slash. Uh, he probably will be able to take that, just because Superior actually has pretty decent defenses to see. Uh, just kidding, wow, that's just O-Code. Okay then, the power of Tornadus T is here, everyone. That's crazy, I was not expecting that at all. Uh, Walrin is next, and that could be a problem. Walrin is a notoriously annoying Maison Mon just because it likes to do things like Stockpile and Sheer Cold, Fisher, all of the annoying things, basically. Uh, I am going to go into Raikou here. I don't even think that we can Oko it with a T-Bolt, but we have to try. So he is going to go for the Stockpile. Now we are definitely not going to be able to take him out with a T-Bolt unless we score a crit. And I don't know if the Hacks Gods are going to provide that with us, or for us, I should say. And no. No, that still did decent enough damage. I hope that one more hit is going to be enough to take it out, as he does just go for the Frost Breath, which I'm fine with, because that does nothing thanks to our Assault Vest. I was really worried he was going to go for Sheer Cold there. That would have been not so much fun. Because if Raikou went down, I don't know what I would have used to kill it. Like, Mega Metagross can't kill it in one hit after a Stockpile. But uh, maybe we just got lucky. I don't know. Cradley is here. And I can go for the Hidden Power Ice. And we can see how much it's going to do. I mean, Cradley can't do too much to me. Anyway, and that actually does over half because of a crit. And this is going to stock. But why does everything on this team have stockpile? What is this? What is this nonsense? Uh, I guess we have to Volt Switch out. I mean, there's no point in going for another, um, another HP Ice. Because it probably has Recover. So it might just go for that here. That'll give us a safe switch, but yeah, we, we'll go into Mega Metagross because we can, at least we can hit it uh, super effectively with a Meteor Mash. Oh, just kidding. It's going to go for a Swallow. Since when does Cradley Swallow? I don't, I don't, I just, well, I mean, it has Recover. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, fair enough, I suppose. Uh, we are going to Mega Evolve with Mega Metagross, or with Metagross, to turn into Mega Metagross. And we're going to fire off a Meteor Mash, and this should be a 2 at KO, even at plus 1 defense, because... Oh, just kidding, that is an Oko, that's not even a critical hit, wow. I mean, he wasn't at full health, but still. Mega Metagross is just way too powerful. I'm still so surprised that it did not get banned from OU when it was suspected. Granted, uh, a lot of people were talking about how... Uh, the coil rating was an issue with that because a lot of people that were inexperienced uh, were voting no ban, so that's kind of part of it, but it probably deserved to be banned, I don't know. Just That's just my thought on it. But anyway, that aside, we have Halucha here, and this does not outspeed me. I do not believe it does, so we are just free to go for an Air Slash here as it's actually going to fire off a Protect because that's what everything at the Maison does. It just it goes for protect at random times. But uh, thankfully, I don't have we missed an air slash yet. I don't know if we have. We get a critical hit. That is completely meaningless. But I'm sure we're just we're just waiting until we can miss a critical air slash at a critical time. That's what's gonna happen. I don't know if it's gonna cost us our run or not, but it's, it's probably gonna be a very annoying miss. But uh, yeah, I guess if I didn't want to miss, I would run something else. I don't know what that would be. As for a special flying type move, I guess hidden power flying. But anyway, uh, was that stockpile? Does everything have stockpile? What is this? That air slash did so much to this wheezing too. That did like 80% almost. 
That is ridiculous damage. So Weezing is out of the way after two hits, and Hariyama is next. This is also going to get two hit KO'd by an Air Slash, uh, as he's actually going to fire off a Bullet Punch, which is fine by me, because that's negligible damage. That's basically Life Orb damage right there, and he actually takes the Life Orb Air Slash from Tornadus. That did the same amount to Hariyama being a super effective hit that it did to Weezing, just with regular damage, which is crazy. And of course, this thing's going to go for Protect, because that's what everything does. Protect Bullet Punch, Protect Bullet Punch. So we get the Tornadus T-Sweep, which, honestly, I was kind of not expecting to ever see one of those during this run, just because that's not really what Tornadus is there for. It's out, it's to outspeed certain fast threats and, uh, you know, get the Regenerator off, be able to come back in later on. And we also have the ability to take on things like Ferrothorn, which would otherwise be a huge problem to this team. So, Battle 18, we're at Battle 18 already? This video is going by very quickly. As a result of throwing Pokeballs, we are well trained in how to handle pans. Well, thank you for that little uh, juicy piece of information, my friend. As he is going to send out for Alligator to start things off. Fair enough. Fair enough. I will start with Tornadus, as always. And we could just go for a Grass Knot, but I don't think that's going to kill. So I am going to U-turn out. We can get some chip damage off on this thing. And we should be able to go into Raikou because unless he goes for EQ, which I highly doubt he will with a flying type out in the field, uh, he cannot kill us in one hit, although he could get a critical hit as well. So we'll have to keep our fingers crossed that that doesn't happen as he goes for the block, actually. So that's completely fine by me because now the best he can do is Aqua Jet me, and he's not even going to go for that, so he's just going to die to this T-Bolt. Oh, just kidding! He's going to survive and go for the EQ! That is a super bulky for alligator. What? It just took a T-Bolt. Are you kidding me? From a Raikou. I mean, I know I'm not, um, I'm not boosted at all by a Life Orb or a Choice Specs, but still. Since when does for alligator take T-Bolts? Was that like max HP, max special defense or something? I don't understand. But I don't think there's any reason to really uh, save Raikou here, so I'm just going to get some damage off. And we're actually going to see the Solar Beam. Power Herb Solar Beam. Volcarona. Okay, then. Fair enough. I mean, I don't even think that's going to kill, actually. And it doesn't. We live thanks to our Assault Vest, and we can fire off another T-Bolt. Yeah, I'm not sure what the point of that was. Just go for your Fire-type move. And there we go. The Heat Wave. I'm pretty sure that would have killed. Because Heat Wave has, what, 150 base power? After stab, of course, I think it's... Oh, no, it got nerfed, didn't it? It's not 100 base power anymore. It's like 90 or 95. Flamethrower is 90, so it has to be 95. But even still, it's got, you know, like 140-ish stab, which is more than 120 solar beam, so that may have killed. I don't know. I'm just making up things as I go along here, basically. So we'll just bring in Tornadus to finish things off with an Air Slash. Thankfully, we don't miss. <laughs> that would have been pretty bad. And we'll get to see what the last Pokemon is here. It's going to be Empoleon. And I actually cannot touch this. Um, I could Heat Wave it, and that's not going to do much. Grass Knot could do a decent amount, just because I think Empoleon is on the heavier side. I kind of want to just leave this in to die, though, because... Yeah, I don't want to bring in Metagross on an attack, like a Hydro Pump or something, so I'll just go for a uh, Heat Wave. That does a lot of damage. Wow, that almost did 50%. And he's going to go for the Yawn, unfortunately. I don't know if this thing has Rest. I don't know if I really want to risk that, so I am just going to go for a U-turn here, get some chip damage off, bring him down below the 50% mark. We can go out into Metagross. And... Oh, what is this? Was that a Citrus Berry? That is a Citrus Berry. Okay, fair enough. So we're going to have to hit him with two more Heat Waves. Or potentially one EQ. I mean, if that knocks him out, that would be great. That would be fantastic, actually. And he's just going to go for Yawn again. So he's just spamming the Yawn at this point. So I don't know if EQ will kill. I really don't want to fall asleep. Is it worth staying in and trying to go for it? I don't know that it is. I kind of want to just play safe here. So I am going to go back out into Tornadus, and hopefully it doesn't go for Ice Beam. Go for, like, Hydro Pump or something. That won't kill me. No, he's going to go for Yawn again. Why are you spamming Yawn? Why? 
I don't understand. Um, I guess we can go right back into Quadro. I mean, I, I could have U-turned, I suppose. I don't know why I didn't. Chip damage is chip damage. That was probably a mistake. Hopefully that little sliver of health doesn't come back to bite us. And he does go for Yawn again. So, nice strategy, my friend. Just spamming Yawn. At this point, I am just going to stay in. We're going to Mega Evolve and go for the Earthquake. Because, apparently, since he's just going to keep going for Yawn over and over and over again, there's no reason for me to just keep switching. I mean, I guess I could try to stall him out of PP. But nobody wants to watch 15 minutes of uh, Empoleon spamming Yawn. So... He does go for the yawn again as we are going to fall asleep, unfortunately, because freaking Earthquake is not enough to take this thing out, and I'm going to hope that he doesn't have anything to kill me with, uh, as he's going to go for the Aqua Jet, nice. Aqua Jet, yawn, Empoleon, good stuff. Very good stuff. We are going to stay asleep, of course, because that was the first turn, and I'll go for Bullet Punch. We do actually wake up. Is that going to be enough to kill it? Uh, no, he actually survives, and he goes for the Aqua Jet again. This thing just won't die. I wonder if it has some, like, physical defense investment. Because I feel like EQ would normally kill, but I don't know. I don't know, they always have weird spreads in the Maison. And of course, now I get a meaningless critical hit. It would have been nice on the first bullet punch, just to speed things up a little bit. But uh, it really didn't matter. If all he had was Aqua Jet, then he really was no threat to begin with. He was just annoying with the yawns. So, we are through, is that three battles? We have two more? If I am counting correctly, yeah, we have 19 and 20. All right, let's do it. Let's do it against this roller skating person. I wish that uh, roller skates were in this game. I really enjoyed that in X and Y. Hope it hope it makes a comeback at some point. So he's gonna start with Crobat, and that is a problem because it does outspeed me. Uh, although Crobat can't really touch Metagross, so I'm very tempted to just go into it and get a free Mega Evolution off. Um, although, it also may just go for a Confuse Ray, because that is what the Maison is known for, spamming stupid Confusion moves. But uh, he doesn't really have anything that he can hit me with offensively, so I am just going to go into Metagross and see what he does. And he is, of course, going to go for the Confuse Ray, because, <laughs> because this is the Maison, of course. Um, I kind of want to try to break out, because I feel like he's just going to be continuing to spam uh, Confuse Ray, and he outspeeds everything on my team, so even if I go out into, like, Raikou or whatever, he can just go for Confuse Ray again the following turn, and I can't do anything about it. So, I'm gonna make it evolve. We're gonna try to break through and go for a Zen Headbutt, because that will Oko this thing. Crobat is not the bulkiest thing in the world, um, and that would be a Tough Claws boosted Zen Headbutt stab from a Mega Metagross. So, unfortunately, he has Shadow Ball, and we do break through, which is great, because if we didn't break through there and we hit ourselves in confusion, he may have been able to take us out with a Shadow Ball the following turn, because that kind of did a lot of damage. But thankfully, we don't have to worry about that. Braviary is here, and we should probably switch. Uh, I don't know what this thing is going to go for. Possibly Superpower, but Superpower is not going to be enough to take out Raikou, so I'll just go into it, and uh, we should be able to fire off a T-Bolt or a Volt Switch the following turn. Superpower, I'm assuming? Yeah, because it's normal type stab and Brave Bird would be resisted hits on Metagross, so there's no reason. Actually, I don't even know if that Superpower would have killed, but the chances of us breaking through Confusion again were pretty slim, honestly. So we're going to go for the T-Bolt, and that is just going to take this thing out in one hit. We got one Pokemon left to go up against, and it's going to be Ampharaz, which is fine because we do outspeed it with Metagross when we come back in and we can go for the Earthquake, which should finish it off after we get off some chip damage with extra sensory. Odor Sleuth! Odor Sleuth, Ampharaz. Okay, then. I want to say that I've seen it all, but I really feel like I haven't. <laughs> go for extra sensory again. This is doing nothing. We do get a flinch, though. Is this really a four-hit KO? That's ridiculous. Why is Ampharaz so bulky? Four, it took four hits to kill this thing. Jeez, and he goes for Brick Break. I don't know why he has Brick Break, but apparently uh, we don't even need to bring in Metagross again. Raikou's going to finish the job with a four-hit KO <laughs> via Extra Sensory. So, uh, yeah, we got one more battle left in this episode. That went by kind of quick. We got a little bit lucky with the uh, confusion there, though. Little bit lucky. That could have been dangerous. Very, very dangerous. All right, let's see what this next person has. 
before we take a break for a little bit. Hmm, what's so good about or what's so great about trainers? You don't battle yourself, but you sure do talk big. I don't talk big, I don't say anything. I've said nothing like this entire game, basically. <laughs> Tyranitar is gonna be leading off. So um I don't really know what I want to do about that. I could grass knot you, but the sandstream is probably gonna keep you alive. Without the sandstream though, I think I might be able to come close to Oko and you, especially with prior damage. So I will just go for the U-turn here. It is super effective. And that still does a solid like 20% or so. So I'm fine. Fine by that. And we can go into uh, Metagross because he's not going to go for an EQ. There's no way he's going for EQ. He's going to go for Stone Edge probably. Uh, as he actually goes for the T-Wave. T-Wave Tyranitar. Alrighty then. Fair enough. So now he's going to outspeed us. Which kind of stinks. But we can still Mega Evolve, and we can just go for a Bullet Punch, because that might be able to kill him. And honestly, it doesn't really matter if it kills him either way or not, because um, we have to take a hit regardless. And we're actually going to get fully paralyzed there, which is unfortunate, as he's going to set up Stealth Rocks. But my thought process there was, either I move second and go for a Meteor Mash and kill him, and either way I have to take an attack, as we get paralyzed again, and he's going to go for a Fling with an Iron Ball. And that almost o code Oh my goodness. That damage... That damage. I almost just lost to a Fling Tyranitar. He's going to finish me off with a rock slide. This is unbelievable. Fling Tyranitar. Uh, okay, so we've seen his entire moveset. But what I was trying to say was if we could pick him off with a bullet punch, I wanted to. But either way, we still had to take a hit regardless. But it's just unfortunate that we got paralyzed so many times. Uh, and then on top of that, bullet punch did not kill. So we got absolutely wrecked by that. Tyranitar set. Now we can go in with the uh, Tornadus again and we can just go for Grass Knot at this point. But I'm kind of scared. This is not looking good for us because there's still two Pokemon left that uh, we may have needed Metagross for. So that's kind of scary. The Sandstorm is going to subside which is great. No more uh, extra damage there. And Drapion is one of those Pokemon unfortunately because we could have EQ'd it. Um... I guess I just have to air slash it. It should be a 2 KO on this thing. And it is. Hopefully we don't get killed by a poison jab here. Thankfully, it goes for taunt. If you went for poison jab, we could have been in trouble, depending on what that last Pokemon is. We need to not miss. Oh, we miss! We miss! And thankfully, he's stupid and goes for toxic spikes. I knew! I knew it! I knew that when I missed the air slash was going to be at, like, the most important time. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that that thing didn't have an attack. <laughs> it just didn't want to attack me for whatever reason. Vileplume is here, and uh, we can just go for air slashes until we die. Actually, that almost okos this thing. Jeez. Goes for the stun spore and misses, and our taunt's going to wear off. Not that that matters because I have four attacks anyway. Um, I figured he was just going to kill me, and then I could go into Raikou and go for the extra sensory after that. But it didn't even come to that because it just it just didn't. I don't know. I don't understand what happened in this battle, basically. Like, it was all just weird. <laughs> just one giant weird battle. Okay, that was battle 20. So uh, that is going to be it for this episode. And next time we're going to be taking on battles 25 through 29? No. 21 through 25. I'm skipping. I'm getting ahead of myself, basically. <laughs> So next time we got Battles 21 through 25. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you did, please make sure you're leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever you would like to do, of course. And I will see you all next time. But until then, game on.